Where do you get your power from? Who do you turn to to tell you that you're right? Futures spring out before me like telescopes. I see so many hazy possibilities, not quite knowing where to look. In my hesitancy, some shatter, like mirrors punched in anger. Their shards blur my vision. Others bury themselves inside my chest, so that every inhalation causes strikes of pain. Other prospects move into sharper vision with every outward breath. Uncallous hands are trying to shape the future. Those who do not know how wet clay feels, how it scrunches between the fingers, how it finds a shape and holds them, busy themselves picking out the colour of the glaze, where best to put such beautiful creation. I can't quite enjoy sunny days anymore. My shoulders, numb from backpacks, need to find a better book before all they're good for is laying this world to rest. Some days, I want to wield justice in a clenched face, but even Superman knew what that would make him. Reports and data and lectures can only tell us what's come before, suggest what lies ahead. But those narratives aren't fixed, and whose voice gets heard above the mix? We're stuck inside this story. There's no skipping to the end. That said, if I could jump just a century ahead, I'd want to think of London as a Breton, or a Roman, or a Viking, or a Norman, or a Fleming, might think, upon seeing the shark. As an atheist, even I know you need to take a leap of faith sometimes. I need to know the future is in safe hands. It's more full of love than now. It's resplendent. It's busy dealing with adversity is unified in seeking solutions.